All right, guys, here we go. We're going to show you 12, which is inside the ear. This is just a quick tutorial to try to get our playbook going. Uh, we're going against a 4 4 defense, one high, two inside. Our re key is the first man from a four eye technique out. So that'll be this five technique, this defensive end. We'll read him for the dive, pitch off with the next guy outside of him, which will be this outside. Uh, linebacker inverted safety that's down here playing uh, playing outside of the end okay on the perimeter our wide receivers on the play side are going to be stalking if he plays a little tighter we'll just run him off on the back side here we're, we're working a cutoff technique so versus a one high defense you just um, work a cutoff technique on the back side on the corner just get inside position cut him off okay as far as the backfield goes, backside wing, he's going to go in motion on the R ready. Our cadence is ready, so go. So you're leaving on the R ready. Okay, You're running straight to the uh, butt of the fullback, run flat, and then downhill. Okay, once you get outside the tackle here, we want you to start working downhill, but maintain a four-by-one relationship with the quarterback. Okay, four yards outside and one yard back so that when he pitches you the ball, even if you guys are 10 yards down the field, field, it's a lateral. If We don't want you to drift out here too wide. That'll be too far of a pitch. And we don't want you to work downfield because you might get yourself ahead of the quarterback and that'll be a forward lateral. So what you have to do is you really have to throttle. Once you get past the fullback, you got to really throttle your speed down, okay, and, 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 and you're really adjusting to, to the quarterback, maintaining a four-by-one relationship. Hog boogie to the tail, uh, the fullback's butt, all right, and as you, as you come out flat and work downhill, we want you to throttle it down. It'll be something that we just have to practice, and you'll get better at it the more reps we do, okay? Play side versus a one-high uh, defense like this, we're going to put a load tag. So that's why I got drawn up here. He's loading the inside linebacker. We'll work that in our everyday drills, and you guys will get good at that. Okay, the quarterback and the fullback are going to mesh up here at the mesh point. is going to be the butt of the guard. Okay. Fullback, you're going to read the block of the center and the, and the guard here. Basically, you're going to read the action key, which is the first guy to the inside of the read key. Read key's here. you got the first man inside. That's your read. If he comes across the B gap here, you get to bang. You're gonna bang. Uh, if you get the football, you're gonna bang. You're running back behind him. You're gonna cut back. Okay. Now it's not a, a, a true cut back where you're bending it all the way back. You have, we just want one foot cut and get vertical. Okay. We'll talk more about that and we'll practice that also. Quarterback, you're gonna work with uh, Coach Sherman. You guys uh, on, on, on your footwork. We're gonna open up the three. Okay, and we're going to get to the mesh. Our eyes are on the read and execute the option. All right, let's see what else. Offensive line wise, we got a scoop scheme between the um, uh, backside guard and backside tackle. You guys are scooping your play side gap up to the linebacker. Um, over here on the play side, we got an ace combination ball between the center and the guard. And the play side tackle is veer releasing inside up to the backer. We're just going to cut it short right there, guys. Um, probably went into way too much detail, but for this first video, I wanted to give you something, something um, to show you kind of how this new format is going to work uh, that I got with the playbook and kind of uh, putting it all together to see what it looks like. All right, get it done.